Just over a year ago, I was unemployed, um, looking desperately for a job to survive, and now, as you can see, I'm very much employed, and I employ um, probably up to about 10 other people full-time. It started quite trickily with me doing everything from washing up, cooking, serving, um, and now a year on down the line is one of the one of four restaurants in the Good Food Guide for Birmingham. As you can see, my product is mirrors. I make mirrors. Before I came to the custard factory, I was working in my garage, and it was very cold and very lonely. In comparison with life in the garage at the custard factory, things are obviously a lot different. There's a lot of interaction. Um, but mostly because there's always somebody around. There's always somebody to help you out with problems here. I think my career is more firmly established now I've moved to the Coaster Factory. The main part of our business is actually we make fashion accessories, hats, clothing. Before I came to the Custard Factory, I was um, in an attic in the back of Aston, um, hidden away, and no one knew where I was. And now we're actually out of the attic in the Custard Factory, um, we're having to employ people because we're, we're now being seen. Um, without being at the Custard Factory, it wouldn't be possible because we wouldn't, we wouldn't have been seen. People wouldn't know where we were. Um, it's just given us a fantastic opportunity. The in-house trade here is phenomenal. Um, the fashion show consisted, uh, first of all, of four people from the Custard Factory, and we um, amalgamated ourselves together and created a, a fabulous event for, for everyone to come and watch. Um, it was nice that we used the models from Ardage and the modelling agency and um, we got people to do the lighting from upstairs in the custard factory and the music upstairs and the catwalk. So the whole thing was an amalgamation of everyone here that we didn't have to go out and get anything. We even actually had the, the tickets printed upstairs so that was fantastic as well. So, so yeah, it was very, very good, very exciting. Prior to coming to the custard factory, uh, I spent a number of years on the dole, but to be honest, it's no holiday on the, on the dole, you know. Um, the, the custard factory um, has, has presented all sorts of, of opportunities. Um, I mean, I've actually been able to do work internally uh, for the building itself. Uh, but not only that, but there are great opportunities for networking with the other tenants, and this was, this was something that particularly excited me, as well as becoming, you know, um, a pioneer in, in, in what is a new and exciting project. It provides two very basic human needs, uh, that's hope and community. I'm an embroidery designer, selling my work through various outlets of craft shops and galleries. I've been at the Custard Factory for just over a year and I've come here straight from college. Uh, people that I was at college with have now gone on to <laughs> work in Pizza Express and not many of them have actually sort of used the training that they were that they've learned at college and if I probably wasn't at the custard factory I'd be there as well. <laughs> what I actually do here is um, I'm a painter by vocation and a frame maker by occupation. The framing is going really well. I mean, all of the work at the moment comes totally from the Custard Factory, nowhere else. I haven't done any advertising, I haven't even got my business card together yet. The Custard Factory seemed to me to be a perfect situation. It was stable, it was secure, I mean, it was warm as well. It was not damp, I could afford it. I mean, what's really good and what I really find happy about being at the Custard Factory is that there is a whole group of people here that are sort of trying to head off in the same direction, trying to do certain things in a way that I agree with and the way I like.
In essence, I'm a theatrical wig maker, but the idea of the studio is really so that I can make wigs from here, which I will then take out to theatres and opera companies around the country uh, for their productions. The idea of being a freelance worker is very lonely, particularly with wigs, and the idea of coming here was so that there would be people around all the time, which there is. I was working from home in my spare room, which worked well for a while, but having clients coming into the house wasn't really the professional setup that I was after. And seeing what was on offer here it just means that my business is actually a business rather than just being a freelance worker from home and I can compete with London um, companies. I became interested in music early 80s, just after I left school. The kind of music I was into is mainly dance music, sort of house, garage, jungle, that kind of stuff. We met up with quite a lot of people, a lot of contacts we made, in the, especially in the music industry. You know, we've got quite a few singles coming out, quite a few CDs coming out, you know, things are happening. Uh, I'm going to, going on a, going to Germany next, next month on a tour for six days. we uh, also got some people interested in Japan and America as well, so things are really look, looking up. I got a job. I got a job.